how to create your own nft collection on the marketplace hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to tell you how you can create your very own collection on the marketplace and i'm going to be using open seas so without wasting any more of your time let's just jump into it so for those of you who don't know you can create an entire collection of nfts in just a few matter of seconds and all you have to do is just simply come over here on OpenSeas.io. Now, for those of you who don't know, OpenSeas is one of the biggest and largest NFT platforms in the world. And you can create tons of NFTs on it as well. So if you have like, let's say 100 NFTs, uploading them one at a time can be a little bit of a drag. So what you can do is you can create a collection and then you can sell them as a whole so that you don't have to, you know, sell them one by one. So without wasting any more of your time let's just jump into it first things first what we want to do is we want to sign up onto open seas now to sign up you can go ahead and click on create button or you can click on the profile button over here and just simply log in or you can connect your wallet simply click on wallet and just choose metamask or wallet connect coinbase wallet for matic and you have many many more options as well but metamask is one of the most popular ones out there so we should use that one as well now for those who haven't used metamask for the first time what you'll have to do is when you click on this metamask you'll be redirected to their website where you'll have to create an account and then just simply install the extension into your chrome browser now i have already done that so i'm just simply going to go ahead and click on metamask and as you can see this window pops up and now what we can do is we can go ahead and sign in now it's redirected me over to their website as you can see over here just simply click on get started and you have two options in front of you now you can go ahead and create your very own new metamask wallet or you can import your wallet using the secret recovery phrase that they have provided you with now if you don't remember it well then you can basically log it back into that wallet you have to keep your recovery phrase secret and safe because this is the only way that you'll be able to log back into your metamask account so i'm going to go ahead and do that i'm going to click on import yes i agree and then just simply enter in my secret recovery phase and then enter in my password and then just simply click on import so i'm going to go ahead and do that so now that i've entered in all of my details i'm just simply going to go ahead and click on import and there you go congratulations i'm all done now i'm simply going to click on next and click on connect and as you can see our account has just connected with open seas and we just have to go ahead and just start creating our collection so as you can see over here we have done it we have created an account so now let's go ahead and click on create we have to sign our documents and over here before we go ahead and create nfts what we can do is we can go over to our profile over here and over here as you can see we have collected okay these are the, some of the nfts that have you know uploaded and we have favorites and my collections now here is what we we're going to go to over here this is the collection you can go ahead and create it and you can create a new collection as well so i'm going to go ahead and delete these two i think if i can i don't think we can delete these ones so we'll just keep that we'll just simply click on create a collection and then we can add the logo image over here i already have the logo image i'm going to go ahead and upload this one and then what we can do next is we can upload the feature image as well we'll add this image over here and then what we can do next is we can upload a banner image as well this will appear at the top of our collection page so we can know that what it's about so i'm going to go ahead and add that as well and then down below we can add the name of this collection and then we can add in the URL of the collection as well. And then we can add a description to, you know, describe what this collection is about. We can add certain categories. We can link our social, such as our website, our Discord server, Twitter account, Instagram account, and Medium account, and Telegram account. Then we have royalties. We can go ahead and add the amount of royalties that we want to share. And then we have the blockchain as well. So we have Polygon and Ethereum. And within the payment tokens, we have ETH and WETH. And then we have the display theme as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add the details that I miss. So I'm going to go ahead and write Beanie Man. Beanie Man over here. Now I don't have a URL. So I can't, you know, go ahead and do that. Okay, so the name is taken. Beanie Man number 32 so i think this name is available so i'm just simply going to copy it and paste it over here and just remove the space bar over here the url is valid as you can see over here 
next we can do is we can add a description i'm just simply gonna add this text in just to you know give you guys an example but what you have to do over here you have to enter in the description properly like you have to describe your you know nft collection what it's about if you will feature some rare nfts within it or not or if there are some upcoming projects or not or how big this project is going to be and stuff like that basically collections is for projects then we can add the category i'm going to skip that for now and if you want you can go ahead and add your socials over here but since i don't have it i'm just simply going to skip those as well i'm going to add in the royalties as 2.5 and then over here we have to you know paste our wallet address so what we can do next is we can copy our wallet address from our you know metamask account and paste it over here and then we can choose our ethereum blockchain or polygon blockchain now remember guys both of these have their own pros and cons but i'm just simply going to go ahead and tell you guys that if you choose ethereum you're going to have to pay a gas fee which sometimes is quite a lot and to find out that gas fee all you have to do is go to etherscan.io slash gas dragger and over here you're going to find the amount of gui you're going to need gui is the basically like gas so right now it's currently high it's currently not that high but it's still high you know 87 dollars so basically you will have to pay 87 dollars you know as a gas fee to mint your nft but if you choose the polygon blockchain you won't have to you know worry about paying any gas fees or whatsoever you have the option of letting the buyer pay for the gas fee or you can just you know add in a small transaction fee that they will charge which is like five percent or ten percent so i'm gonna go ahead and choose polygon over here and then you can add the token as well so you can add a die polygon or usdc polygon or polygon itself i'm going to choose die okay and then you have the display theme as well so you have padded contained or covered whichever one you want you can go ahead and choose that beanie man 32 okay so everything now looks good i forgot to you know remove the uh, hashtag and you know uncaps the b so everything looks good now all we have to do is click on create and now that we have our collection created we can go over here as you can see this is the collection we can go over here and add our items over here simply just add in the nft that you want so i'm going to go ahead and add this one and i'm going to call it gradient beanie man so gradient beanie man is over here you can add in your external website if you have one if not you can go ahead and leave that then you have to provide detailed description of the item if you have one then you can choose the collection as you can see i've chosen this collection over here you can add in different properties basically what these are is if you must have seen like you know some rare nfts such as crypto punks or you know the crypto apes and they have like you know limited edition nfts where they have something rare on them then you can go ahead and add those properties as well if you are uploading a rare nft like a special edition version of your nft you know that has like some special accessories like you know glasses or cigarettes or chains or you know hats whatever uh, then you can go ahead and add those over here as well so right now for me it's my background so i'm going to go ahead and write background and over here i'm going to write gradient and i'm going to go ahead and click on save so there we go so there we go and now we have the supply we can go ahead and enter in the supply as well uh, let's say two or one or 12 whatever one you want it just depends upon how much you are making then you can choose the blockchain as i said before and then just simply click on create and once you have done that as you can see over here our nft has been created and there we go next thing that we need to do is we need to just simply click on sell and before we do that just check if everything else is in order over here you will have your price history your listing and stuff like that and then just simply click on sell and once you do that you'll have to enter in the amount of ethereum that you want and the duration of when you want it so i'm going to choose like three days okay and then just simply close it up and then just simply click on complete listing so over here all we have to do is just sign a message into our metamask wallet account just simply click on sign and now it wait for a couple of seconds and as you can see our nft has been listed and we are ready to go so that is basically it that is how you basically you know create a collection on open seas or any other marketplace and how you can basically add your nfts 
within those collections so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye